Pick six. I'm your host, Mr. Sadie. Let's get right to our panel. I'm Vince, and I'm out of Brandon Jacob jokes for this week. I'm Adam, and for all of our thousands of viewers, I'd just like to point out that Reed is behind the camera this week. He's too embarrassed to be in front of the camera. I'm Zach. All these guys' picks are going to be weak. I'm Alex, and I don't have a cliche saying like all you at the rest of you. <laughs> to be fair, Reed did go 5-1 and one a couple weeks ago, but let's move on. Let's dive right into the first game of the week, 49ers at Green Bay. Uh, both teams trying to stay alive in the wild card race. Uh, Vince, what's your take? I don't even know why we're picking this game. These, both these teams are mediocre. Aaron Rodgers gets sacked like 15 times a game. Uh, but Packers are at home, so I'm going to take them. Yeah, this game's going to come down to the quarterback play. Alex Smith and Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is a much better quarterback than Alex Smith. That really doesn't even need to be said. Alex Smith has thrown one interception for every touchdown he's thrown, a total of 6-6. Six and six. So, Packers all the way. Packers are just super inconsistent. They lose to Tampa Bay, then they beat Dallas, but they only gave up 61 yards to Dallas on the ground. Can they stop Gore? I think so. Even though 49ers are fifth in the league in sacks, they will get to Aaron Rodgers, but their 28th ranked pass D is going to get smoked. Packers. Well, I don't know. Green Bay impressed me last week. They beat Dallas. Uh, I did not think they were going to beat Dallas because they don't have an offensive line. Um, but I do think they, they beat for, for the 49ers by a considerable amount this week, 15, 20 points, probably. All right, everyone agreeing on Green Bay then and, uh, by a considerable margin. Well, uh, let's move on to uh, Eagles traveling to the Bears on Sunday night. Uh, no Marshall this week, no Reed, uh, so I don't really know where this one's going to go. Uh, what do you guys think? Right, I go Philly this week. Uh, Jay Cutler managed to lose the football game for his team last week. Um, I only know one quarterback who can do that, and I think he'll do it again. Cutler has 17 interceptions overall this this week this year, and uh, Philly is third in the league with 15 interceptions. That's going to be a feast against Jay Cutler. Also, after sleeping for the first three quarters, uh, the Eagles have scored 14 fourth quarter points against the Chargers. I think that continues. Yeah, like Zach said, Cutler's thrown 17 interceptions this year, and guess what? 11 of them were in night games. This is a night game. I say he throws another three or four picks against the Eagles' defense. In addition, the only real question for the Eagles right now is what are they going to do without Brian Westbrook? But guess what? They got LaShawn McCoy. He's the same style back, and he's going to put up maybe not quite as good numbers, but he's going to be good enough to get the job done for the Eagles. Eagles win all the way. Here's another game. I don't know why we're talking about this. Both these teams suck. McNabb sucks. Cutler sucks. Matt Forte really sucks. Uh, so uh, let me stop me when I told you something you don't know. But uh, I usually I pick the home team here, but McNabb's going home to Chicago. Cutler's at home, which I don't think matters. But uh, this is the, the start of the Sean McCoy era for the Eagles. Uh, so I think it starts off right. I will regret this, but I'm taking Shady and the Eagles. All right, to sum up Vince's thesis uh, for that game, everybody sucks. Except Shady. Yeah, except Shady. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Except Shady. Uh, but let's move on to uh, the Falcons at the Giants. Both teams trying to stay alive in the playoff race. And uh, Vince, uh, so I'm assuming you're going to hate on Brad and Jacobs a little bit more in this one. Yeah, well, since I left off with talking about people that suck, Brandon Jacobs is the king of sucking. So uh, I don't think he scores again in this game. Surprise, surprise. But I like Eli, Steve Smith, and the Giants to win this. Yeah, I'm going with the Giants to win this one, too. Uh, Atlanta is not playing that well right now. Matt Ryan's in big slump. And the Giants' defense, although their team has lost four in a row, their defense is still ranked number one. And I think they're going to continue that success against Atlanta. Uh, New York Giants will win this one. Speaking about that slump, Matt Ryan is in that sophomore slump. 11 interceptions total last year, 12 already this year. And the Giants have the number one D overall. And uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> they just can't lose five in a row. The, their seventh-ranked rush offense will totally run over Atlanta's 25th-ranked rush defense. Giants get back on track. You know, I'm going to try not to let my bias get involved here. Um, I would pick Atlanta if they had Michael Turner this week. They do not have Michael Turner this week. Um, so I'm going with the Giants in a matchup of two very badly underperforming teams. All right, so I think we've had all agreement so far in this show. I mean, that, that's no fun, guys. What are you doing? Come on. Let's see what we get on this one. Uh, when the Jets travel to New England for uh, their divisional rematch, uh, 
Patriots have to be steaming after uh, last week's loss. Uh, Alex, do you think uh, Patriots are coming out on top on this one? Yeah, I'm going Patriots really big. Um, I think they torched the Jets, uh, and I'm going at 30 points over. Um, I mean, it, week two was a fluke. Or was it week one that they played the Patriots or week two? Whichever one, it was a complete fluke. Um, Dow Rivas played out of his mind. He's, he's a very good cornerback. Their only good defensive secondary player, um, Tom Brady torches them. 30 points, 30-plus 30 points. Sanchez has 11 turnovers in, in his last six games, and the re- receiver, Jericho Cotri, he got a TD last week for the first time since week three. Come on now. And the Patriots, I think they definitely forget fourth and two. They are going to rip up the Jets' 28th-ranked pass D, even if Randy Moss will be covered by Pitts to Rell Revis the whole game. Patriots. Well, all the people in Sports Center this week say the matchup to watch in this game is the Jets run game versus the Patriots run defense, but I completely disagree. This game's gonna come down to Tom Brady's passing versus New York Jets secondary, specifically Moss versus Darrell Revis. Last matchup, Revis limited Moss to only 24 yards and no touchdowns. Uh, I don't think he can do that again. Moss has been playing inspired football recently. I think Moss is going to torch Revis. I think Brady's going to torch their secondary. And I think this game, it's not going to be close. All right. I don't have too much on this game, but uh, I'm sure the Patriots aren't very happy after last week. Uh, so I, I think they're going to win this game. Although Revis is going to be on Moss, I'm sure Belichick's probably like has a camera in his driveway or something or in his bedroom some, somewhere monitoring his sleep schedule, You know, try to throw him off or something. But uh, I'm going with the Patriots here.